The return to form of Ernie Owls has been one of the big talking points in golf of 2010. The Big Easy is delighted with his turnaround, but he'll be just as proud to see the impact his Ernie Owls Foundation continues to have with more and more South Africans winning on tour. One of the most recent of those is Louis Oosthuizen. The 27-year-old from Mossel Bay in South Africa won his first European tour title in March. It earned him entry into the Masters for a second time. From there, he never looked back as he went on to win the par three competition. Ustazen pays credit to Ernie Els and the other South Africans ahead of him for their inspiration. It means a lot. Ernie, I've been in his foundation and, uh, you know, and watching him and Retief and, you know, Tim and Rory and Trevor and everyone over here. And uh, that's where we wanted to be, me and Shaul and Sterney and all of those. And, uh, you know, Shaul's playing unbelievable the last, the last um, year and a half, two years actually. And, and um, so uh, it's just a matter of me, me stepping up now and trying to get where Shaul is. Speaking of icons in South African golf, they don't come any bigger than Gary Player. You know, I had the privilege of playing 18 with him last year at the Masters on the Monday, and it was unbelievable. And and uh, everything, you know, it was, it was quite special. My first Masters was his last one, and so it was very special to me. And uh, yeah, it's, um, I mean, I think not just South Africans, but everyone look up at him. Ostasen knows that securing his first win on the European Tour was important. Well, the biggest thing is getting in here. Um, I mean, that, it was unbelievable knowing winning there, getting, getting in the Masters. But uh, other than that, you know, confidence and everything. Um, I was playing well the week before and um, finished second, but that win just meant everything to me. It took me a while to win one in Europe, but, uh, you know, I've won before in South Africa. I won quite a few, and and um, I knew it was just a matter of waiting and being patient. And, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm over the moon with that one, yeah. And finally, some quick questions for this rising South African star. If you weren't a professional golfer, what do you think you'd be? Wow. Um, probably, a, probably a farmer, but not a very good one. And if you had three golfers that you could pick to have that dream for, who would they be? Um, I must say, I think one of them will be Shaw. We're good friends. And um, the other two would probably, I would love to, Ben Hogan. And um, I must say, Mr. Palmer. Do you have a favourite club? Um, at the moment, Pada. But uh, I'll say my five would. And uh, do you have any advice to amateurs? Is there one piece of advice that you see about amateurs that they make a mistake? What would you say to them? Um, work more on the short game than standing on the range and eating balls. And my final question, do you learn more from disappointment or success? A bit from both, but I think you learn more from disappointment.